So I will start recording the class and open your spotlights on page, page 42, page 42, 42, 42. Page 42. So there you have it, page 42. The topic is sayings. So um, in, in, in Spanish, in Spanish, uh, you might be so familiar with sayings. There are some expressions that the oldies, you know what the oldies mean, right? Your grandpa, your grandma, your parents also they uh, try to give you some advice, uh, pieces of advice. And what is an advice? It's a recommendation, a suggestion that will help you to um, lead your lives in a correct way, in a good way. And we use these expressions to convey uh, wisdom, uh, the, all the wisdom that all did have. And we're gonna read the definition here and how these expressions are used in, in English as well. And let me tell you something particular about sayings. They have a cultural uh, background. So every, every saying has its origin in one particular area. They use words, animals, and situations that are very common in specific regions. We have some sayings, especially for Latin America, or the variations for other countries like uh, China, the United States, or other countries as well. So I don't know, I don't know if uh, Monica Funes, uh, 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 can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Can you please, please, please uh, read uh, the first paragraph? from in times to milk, please. Okay. In times of economic crisis, have you ever heard someone say, a penny saved is a penny earned? Or maybe when you have been sad, someone has told you, it's not use crying over a spilled milk. Thank you. Continue, Jorge, Jorge, are you there? Jorge Argueta? Yep. Okay, help me please. From here to wisdom. Do you understand this advice? I know what type of expression this is. A saying, as is well known expression that contains advice or wisdom. Wisdom. Thank you. Uh, Carlita, continue. Mm -hmm. Continue, uh, Mauricio. They. Here, Mauricio. 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So as you can see, we have some characteristics. Then I'm going to present a PowerPoint presentation with it. So and like I said, we are playing a game in which uh, people from home is not, is not included. Sorry, guys. In the next, in the next, in the next game, I, I for sure include people from home. We have two games for today's class. We have uh, 120 minutes to go, so don't get hopeless. You're gonna have your chance. So far, I'm gonna play uh, with the guys who are here. Um, I don't know, guys, if you remember the game of the supermarket. So the one that consists of standing up, spinning, and clapping, and then you sit. Do you remember that when I said a specific word? So let's play like this. I'm going to be telling you a, a fictional story. It's something that didn't actually happen. It's not real. Um, every time that I say, oh, but you're only, only four and we have three boys and one girl. Okay, that doesn't matter. When I say tomato, you, Carlita, you will stand up and speak. And sit up, oh, stand up, spin, clap, and sit. No, spin. All right, here. Yeah. Uh, like that, clap, and sit down. Uh, when I say cheese, when I say cheese, you three, you three, do the same thing. What happens if you uh, take too long to stand up? You have me answering every question and or reading. Already. This is only cover. When I say cheese, only you three. When I say supermarket, you four. Easy peasy. Yeah. And we will be playing throughout uh, the lesson of saints. So you be attentive and attentive and attentive. Okay. So um, last night, last night uh, I was um, I was feeling like watching a movie. Uh, I wanted to relax just a little bit because I have a hard time working here. It was an exhausting journey that I had and I wanted to relax. And the first thing that came to my head or that I felt doing was watching a movie. I don't know why. And uh, I wanted to watch one of my favorite horror movies of all time, which is The Ring. The Ring is a... It's a very good movie. I, I, I suggested that you uh, watch it when you have time. I don't know if it's still on Netflix. I, I think that they have retired it, but I'm not so sure. But the point is that I wanted to have a snack as well. Every time that you um, wanted to watch a movie, you have a snack as well. And I felt like having a sandwich. A sandwich. And you know that the things that you need in order to make a delicious cheese sandwich. <laughs> Byron, Byron, Byron was the last one. So Byron, help me please. With this sayings um, to hear sickly. <laughs> You're here for a hundred. Thank you so much, Byron. So let me see who else we have here. Um, Silvano, Silvano, can you hear me? Are, are you online, Silvano? De Jesus. Ah, yeah, but but you can you can use your microphone. I, I understand your your thumbs up. Uh, Hilder, does your microphone work? Hilder Antonio? 
Does it work? You can use uh, an emoji or something, some stuff, just to see that you are alive, you're in debt. Cecia Unice, are you able to unmute your mic? Ah, that's no. Okay. Marito, Marito, I remember that you have used your microphone before. Mario Enrique Arias. Hello, teacher. Hello. Nice to meet um, you. Um, I, I'll try to, to, to read that, but I can see, I can see uh, the, all, uh, the text because I, I don't know. I guess that this is the internet. Because okay, I do your best. Do your best. Read from here as uh -huh. to yes. wisdom. Uh, as. Where? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let, let me try. Let me try. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> as you can see, I guess that that that, that, that is saying. <laughs> I guess that the next word is R. R. R base. R base. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. I best. Uh, I, I, that, that I don't know what it means. On truth. Yeah. Come truth and different cultures. Uh, from? From, from? I, I, I'm, I'm trying my best teacher. Sorry, but I, I, I will continue. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the word share their meaning. Say uh, their meaning, is it, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess that that word is saying. Consist. Saying. Consist. Uh, sayings are consist. Sayings are consist and mem and memorable way to teach. Mean awful lesson. I guess that is awful, no? Meaningful lessons. So you picture the word without these words of. I don't know what is the last word. Wisdom. Wisdom. That's, okay, that, that was my best teacher. Sorry, because I I can see, I can oh, see. Thank you. Thank okay. you, my, thank my you Stay tuned, because I'm gonna ask you later on. Uh, so, uh, my dear uh, Mauricio, can you explain the game to to Sofia, please? Yeah. The supermarket game. And 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 today, Okay, so thank you, thank you, Mauro. Uh, okay, I was in the middle of a story, a fictional story, by the way, uh, about um, what I did last night. So I wanted to make a sandwich, a cheese sandwich, because I love cheese sandwiches. Byron again, I, and you too, Mauricio. Okay, so uh, you're gonna help me with this, guys. Um, so just for you to remember, we are working on page 42 in your spotlight. The topic is sayings. And we, we haven't reflected, we haven't reflected. So Byron is gonna help me reading and Mauricio is gonna help me analyzing. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. The first analysis. What is the quotation about? 
What is the quotation about? What do you think is the main topic of that? What is it? Uh -huh. no, that, that's the point. You have to analyze. This text is earth. So you have to. You have to do something to get it. It's not just giving. It's not giving it means that you can just uh, pretend that you're gonna receive it. Uh -huh. Exactly. Exactly. So you don't have to analyze too much, Mauricio, because the topic is here. What is the topic? Respect. Respect. Let me see someone from home. Paola Aquino. Aquino. Are you are you online, Paolita? Yes. Can you read, please, the quotation again? Treat people the way you want to be treated. Talk to people the way you want to be talked to. Respect is earned, not given. Thank you. Okay. Uh, does anybody from home want it to analyze that you have to treat people the way that you want to be treated? Anybody? Or you, Paola, you yourself, do you want to say something about what you just read? Um, I, I don't know. Maybe like everyone says like respect other people so they can respect you. That's mm -hmm. the only thing I think of. Do you consider yourself a respectful young lady? Um, I think so. I think so too. So I think that you're very respectful. Thank you. So now you have a you have a different opinion here. I mean another opinion. And we agree that you're respectful. Lucia Nicole Sanabria. Can you unmute your mic? Kenya. Hi. Hello, Lucy. Do you have something to add to your classmates' opinions about respect? Um, I think it's it's pretty fair fair and being treated like um like like they say the way you want to be treated. Uh -huh. I think it's pretty fair that. Just that. Okay, uh, uh, are you respectful with your elders? With the oldest? With, with people older than you? Your mom, mm -hmm. your teachers? Yes. Yes. Yes, you are. I remember that you're so respectful. Thank you. Okay, let's move to this. So this is basically, um, a summary of what you just read on page 42. You have certain characteristics of saints. And maybe my dear Leo, can you help me with that definition? Uh -huh. well, in Spanish, in Spanish, what is the word for, for, for saints? Liches. I have a idea on Oh, ah, okay. Let's hear it. No, no, you're right. You mentioned a, a keyword. The keyword here is authorities. So you are supposed to respect me because I'm I'm an authority here. I mean, I'm not the boss. I'm not the senior in here. But from the authority change, you owe me respect. But what happens if I start treating you like crap? 
I mean, if I to respect you in the tone of voice that I use when I talk to you, or I make try to make fool of you, are you gonna respect me? Do I deserve respect? Of course not. You won't. So I have to earn that. And how? How is the perfect path that I have to go through that you uh, respect me or that I earn your respect? Treating you well. I have to treat you well. I have to respect what you're saying. I have to use a different tone of voice. Sometimes it's not what words you use. It's not your um, words selection. It's the way that you talk. Sometimes when you're being uh, sarcastic, ironic all the time, you're being disrespectful. You're being disrespectful. And, and you are totally right there. Sophia, thank you so much. Uh, then let's move to the characteristics, characteristics of saints. All this information is implied. Well, it's actually, yes, it is implied uh, in, in the passage that you helped me reading. Let me see, Susanna Camila. Are you there? Can you use Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, help me please reading the characteristics of saints. Characteristics, <laughs> sorry, characteristics. Well, now, be metamorphical, see, advice, wisdom, the old, ancient, from, generations, and little e cultural. Cultural, thank you. Well, none because they are popular. Many people know sayings, many people know what they mean. Metaphorical is easy peasy. If I say don't cry over spilled milk, it's not literal that you're crying because your milk is split. No. Uh, you use certain figures, metaphors that can be understood according to the cultural background. So when I say who hunts with wolves, learn how to how, you know the name of that animal because you have seen them on TV, the wolves, a wolf, but we have no wolves in El Salvador. So this is not something cultural because we don't have wolves. We know them because we have seen them on TV. So that origin, the origin of that saying is, is not, it's not Salvadorian for sure. Advice and wisdom, they contain advice because like I said at the beginning, they attempt to give you some suggestions, some instructions, how to live your lives in a good way. They are old. They, nobody knows exactly when the sayings were said the first time, they just there. Your grandpa transmitted to your parents, your parents to you, and you will transmit it to the next generation if you have children. And the cultural thing uh, uh, is, is being mentioned. So I will continue with my narrative. Um, so we wanted, I wanted particularly to have a sandwich. A sandwich. Before too much. Oh, during. Uh, watching the movie. So um, I stepped on the kitchen, opened the fridge, and I realized that we were, uh, we ran of certain things, certain ingredients. For, for instance, I did not have onions, mayonnaise, ketchup, bread, bread, onions, ketchup, tomatoes, because you see, I, I, um, tomatoes are delicious in a sandwich. Just girls. So if I ask you, Leo, what are the things? What are the things? What are the ingredients? Those particular uh, ingredients that make a sandwich delicious for you. Lettuce, lettuce, just that. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise. That's it. And ham, 
ham, lettuce, and onion. The is sandwich spread. Ah, yeah, those pickles, the pickle. They came in uh, cucumbers and pickles. Mm. Well, I, I love both. I love both the cucumber and pickles. When, when you go to a uh, subway to have a, a sub uh, and you order a sub, I always, I always ask for all the vegetables. Those black olives, uh, pickles, a cucumber, tomato. <laughs> and let us. Okay, so Carlita. Carla, Carla. You're going to help me with the four, four examples. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. So, and you might be wondering, what do they mean? So, you have the meanings in that. Hatch is when, uh, well, chickens they held eggs. They, they had to wait for a couple of weeks, I guess. So I'm not exactly what's the time for the eggs to hatch. When it hatch is when the egg um, cracks or opens in two, and then the little chicken, the chicken is, is, is alive and he goes around. This is hatch. Um, take it with a grain of salt, meaning, so uh, I was talking about the subs. Uh, I love uh, Subway, Subway sandwiches. Uh, let me see, Karen, Karen Daniela Rosales Beltran. Hello, Karen Sita, can you speak? Yes. It's, it's nice to hear you. I, I think, well, I thought that you were back, you were coming back, but you oh. were Okay. So tell me, uh, my dear Karen, what are your favorite ingredients to put on a sandwich? On a what? To put on a sandwich. Oh, um, the basic things. What are those things? Um, ham. Ah. What else? Uh, cheese. And what else? Uh, cheese? I mayo, mayo. <laughs> mayonnaise. Uh, mayonnaise. <laughs> and just that, our tomato. Ah! Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love that. Uh, I am one of those. Huh? Uh, good question. Uh, I will look at. I will look at bland. No, bland is another thing. Let's look up. Aguado. Aguado in English. Watery. Oh. Aguanoso. Some people say it like this. Oh. Yeah. So you see, every day you learn something new. Okay. Um, so, let me see who else is in the house. Maria Fernanda Flores. Smaffer, can you speak? Yes. Okay, tell me, uh, what are your, give me your top three, top three, only three things that you love in a sandwich? Repeat, please, I don't, I don't understand. Okay, uh, tell me three things, just three ingredients that you love on a sandwich. Mm. 
Did you get it now? Three ingredients? Yeah. Okay, tell me, please. Um, cheese. What else? Um, tomatoes. And... Ah. and um, I don't know what's mean, uh, lechuga. <laughs> A lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. <laughs> okay. Thank you, my friend. Now she said lettuce. So, Vidya, can you read the meaning of take it with a grain of salt? Mm -hmm. So, what does it mean? So, if um, let's say Mauricio is breaking news, she is uh, telling you something that you consider unbelievable. Um, and coming from Mauricio, you said, mm, I will take it with a grain of salt. It means that you're going to believe only 50% of what he said. The other 50% is going to be like, mm, I don't think so. That means take it with a grain of salt. I will believe just a bit. Uh -huh. I'm not good to deny it is true. I'm not the one who's going to accept that it's true. This one is easy to interpret. No man is an island. island. So that word, that, that word is kind of difficult to pronounce because some people say Iceland because of the S. But the S is, is silent. It's a silent S. So you just said island. An island. Okay, no man is an island. Meaning, uh, Leo? Uh, no man is no one who says everything. So it means that we all need help. We all do, don't we? Of course we do. Uh, letter C, do not count your chickens before they hatch. Is meaning, uh, Byron, please. Letter C, meaning. Here's the first one. Okay, let me uh -huh. Do not make plans on something that hasn't happened yet. So you said, mm, I think, I think that it's going to happen. I think that I'm going to receive the salary raised. So I'm going to buy a new car. Or I'm going to go to the bank and ask for a, a loan. But you don't have the money yet. So until you have it, you can start making plans. Otherwise, um, don't do it. Take it easy. And finally, every dark cloud has a silver lining. What does that mean, uh, Carlita? D, D. Emphasize. Yeah. Uh, it's just to emphasize that you can find light in the darkness. So when you're troubled, when you're facing situations that are particularly difficult for you, there's always something good that is going to show you the exit, the exit door. So then let's move here. We have more, but I want you to work on the exercise in your books. Hello? Silver is plateau. Stop staring. And... So let me see. And Catherine, 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 no. 
really. I I I just barely remember her. Daniela Alejandra Salazar. Uh, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello. Nice to hear you. You're gonna uh, help yeah. me read something. Reading something. Yeah, you're gonna help me reading. Okay. You're gonna read the sayings, and your classmates here in the classroom they will read the meaning. When they finish, you go to the other, then they read the meaning, then you read the saying, and so on. Did I make okay. myself clear? Yes. Uh... Okay, thank you. So, uh, when I say three, you read the saying. One, two, three. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Guys, one, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now it's your turn. One, two, three. It's no use crying over spilled milk. One, two, three. Ah, more coordination, maybe next time. And uh, now, Danny, one, two, three. Let bygones be bygones. Uh -huh. Let bygones be bygones. Uh, bygones. Uh, yeah, this is not your fault, you didn't know. Uh, guys, one, two, three. Uh -huh. right? Much better this time. Uh, Danny, one, two, three. Don't use a book by its cover. One, two, three. Ah, uh, well, that's fine. And so now, my dear, we're going to switch. They are going to read the saying, and you, uh, from home, read the meaning. Okay? Okay, guys. One, two, three. Danny, one, two, three. Immediate action should be taken in order to prevent a fault, damage, or trouble from, from getting worse. Thanks. One, two, three. Uh, Danny, one, two, three. Someone who associates with their own company will acquire their bad habits. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, bygones is like things that happened before. If if you um if you translate that, it's like one of those reggaeton songs. Uh lo que pasó, pasó. So bygones are things that that happened before. Teacher, can I teach in terms of teach in terms? Teach is when, when you get stitches. I mean, you cut your skin and you really need to have stitches. Okay. Mm, but uh, how do they call it? Uh -huh, exactly. So nine of those can save the rest. So an action, an action that you take before it's too great, before the situation is too great, can save many things. For example, for the COVID pandemic, so some actions were supposed to be taken, and I think they were they were they were taken, uh -huh. and that prevent more damage. So they can say, hmm, a speech in time saves nine. So an action that that you decided to take, it can prevent more problems, more death, more casualties. Right now, and don't do Exactly, exactly, exactly. But there's one, there's one translation in Spanish. There's the saying in Spanish. It's not exactly the translation, but yeah. I, I can I can remember exactly the words in Spanish. But there's one for them. Well, there's one for all of those, but for sure they they, they are different. 
Okay, so um, now in your books, page 43. Yeah, page 43. Work on exercise one. Exercise one. Correct the meaning for each, but well, choose the correct meaning for each saying. So um, I'll give you three, two minutes, two minutes to work on this. Two minutes for exercise one. So I wanna ask people from home, because you have access to internet to help me with, well, to help these guys in here because they have to figure it out by themselves and you have technology available there. So let me see. Um, Katie Panameño, can you talk, Katie? Yes. Okay, do me a favor, would you? Look, okay. for look for the meaning of saying A in number two. Look it up on the internet and give us the answer, please. Okay, uh, give me a second, please. Of course, of course. Then letter B, letter B, Karen, Karen Daniela Rosales. You're gonna help me with letter B. Karencita. Okay. Um, Lucia Nicole, are you still there? Yes. Okay, you're gonna help me with letter C. And we're gonna, you're gonna help me with four only. And letter D, Paola, Paola Alejandra. Hello. Hello, you're gonna help me with letter D, please. D? D, D. Keep your friends okay. close and your enemies close. Okay. Thank you. I will wait uh, two minutes. I will wait for two minutes. Uh, are you ready, Katie? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell us. A good beginning means a good ending. Okay, so it means being well prepared and focused at the start of something often leads to, to success. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, B, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Karen, Karen Daniela. Are you still there, Karen? No, she's not. Uh, letter C, I don't remember who was fine letter C. Yeah. Lucia, yeah, Lucia. Lucy, did you find, however, long the night, the dawn will break? You see, Nicole? Yep. Uh, what does it mean? 
I found that it lets us be confident that the storm will pass. Uh huh. So it means that the problems eventually pass. Thank you. Yes. Thanks. And finally, letter D is my dear Paola, Paola Alejandra. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Um, an internet says, it's not a good idea to bother your enemies. Be friendly with them so you can keep calm and harm enemies. Okay. Okay. Do you have enemies? No, don't, don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay. No, I don't. Uh, let me see. Now it's time for the game. So we're gonna play a game and you can help. You can help from home. It's gonna be like um, a boys versus girl game. Uh -huh. Yeah, I will divide it like this. Boys versus girls. And boys, you can help your, your representative here, Byron, Mauricio, and Leo. And you girls right there, you can help Sofia and Carla. Just let me um, find the game. <laughs> find the game. No, find. Let me see where is the game. Wait, I have to find it first. So there's the game. Ah, but you can see it, right? Okay. It's, uh, it's categories. So uh, it's like the in Spanish. Well, I don't know if it's Spanish because you use English words in bachillerato stop. Yeah, bachillerato is in Spanish, a stop is in English. But the name of this game in English is the stop game. The stop game. So we're going to play the stop game. I will explain it for you at home and for you guys here in the classroom. So um, this is the letter that you all of your words must begin with, letter I. This is the time. You have two minutes to name all the categories here. When I play it, the time is start running down. When I reset, you can see that the, that the letter has been changed. And when you play, the categories are revealed. So you have to say a Christmas song that starts with letter L. Then if you say that you move to the second one, items in a vending machine, uh, things on a beach, musical instruments, and, and so on. So you have to finish, you have to finish all the categories before the time ends. And I will count, yeah, yeah. And I will count the points uh, according to what, to what you say. You can help from home. You can help from home. You can, uh, we will actually, you will participate here face to face. It will start with girls. Understood. Restart. You start. You start. You you will be first. So this is the ladies' ladies' okay. turn. <laughs> oh no! Come on! This is your warm up. Action! Action! Music. Warm up. We can do it. You can do it. So uh, and girls, 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 try to try to help your representatives here. Yeah, Carla, Carla, and Sofia need need you. Ready or not, here we go. So the letter for you is letter M, letter M. And I will play it in one, two, three. Now, things to do at a party that start with letter M. Nothing, you can say there. But nothing is, is, is not, 
Noise. You do you no, you make noise. Uh, you, can you do <laughs> Years from home. No, you can't. You can't pass. Things you do at a party that would start with N. Get G. Okay. Uh, a bird with letter N. A bird. Neither do I. No. Internet, internet, internet. No, nula. Uh, did, did you say something? A bird with N? No, nula. Okay. I don't know what that is, but I believe you. Countries with N. Nigeria. Nigeria. Moving? Now you see me. Now, now, now you see me. Okay, words with double letters. Uh, I got, I got Niga. one. Nigga. Good. Pins with tails. With M. Pins with tails with letter M. Ah, uh, time's up. So you got five. Five points for you, girls. Okay, so now it's boys' turn. Boys from home, guys in here, Mauricio, Byron, and Leo really, really, really need you. They really need you. They do. Uh, so your category, or at least the letter, it's letter S. Easy. A lot of words start with letter S. And the categories are revealed in one, two, three. Celebrities. Selena Gomez. Junk food. Yeah, yeah, but it's considered food. It's food, it's food. Things found in New York. Shopping centers. Things you replace. Not really. No, you can't. You can't. Boys, boys from home. Boys from home. Things you reduce. You can replace, not reduce, replace. What are the things you can replace that starts with letter S? A slave. A snake. Come on. Oh, slaves. Slaves. <laughs> like esclavos. Ah. A. Okay. Uh, states. Okay. Things found on a map. States. Repeat it on the map with letters. States. States. Yeah. Thank you. Things in a park. <laughs> Boys. Things on a park with the letter S. No me dejen visto, slide. Ah, slide, good. Slide. Touristic attractions. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, point, point for boys. Congratulations, boys. You you have won this this round. This round. Congrats. No, it, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. All right, all right. So, boys, if you if you win this time, if you win again, the game is over. 
So, girls, it's your time. It's your turn. Okay, girls. Girls, girls, girls. With the letter J. With the letter J. Okay. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. One, two, three. Fruits. Fruits with the J. Jamaica is a fruit, isn't it? No, it's, it's a plant, right? And it's not said like this in English. No. Because I'm not sure. Because I'm not. Ah, Hokori, Hokori. Yeah, Hokori. Dairy products. Dairy products like milk, cheese. No. no. It is things. Jacket. Are... Say it again. Jacket. Are you sure? Daily products? No, it's not daily. It's daily. Ooh. Ah, you see? Where is the juice? <laughs> Jelly? It's like you have Latina. Jelly? There are things, things from, from that comes from milk. Oh. There must be something. Look it up, look it up. <laughs> they the product. Junk. Repeat it. Junk, trash. But it's the latest turn. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, time to start. One point. So I am curious. I am curious. I, I am curious. Um, there's nothing. List of daily products with the J. Why? Didn't you know? The Junke and Jun. Uh, I don't know. It's here. You see? But thing. Uh -huh. mm. But how? How you were supposed to know? Okay, boys, 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 boys. You have a lot of chances. You just need to mention three things. Just three things, and you win. With letter M. One, two, three. Putting words used in English. <laughs> So don't say, don't say, don't say the English words this time. Uh -huh, for Americans. Foreign words used in English. They don't use it in English. No, there is a foreign words. Okay, okay, okay. I, I will accept it. I will accept it because there's an ambiguity in the instructions of this game. Card games. Car games. With M. Car games with M. I was thinking of Monopoly, but Monopoly is a board game, not a car game. No, I was thinking, I was thinking. Thinking out loud. This is the name of a song. Car games. 
Nobody's home. Memory. Memory. Thank you. Things you store items in. Things you store items in. So like containers, boxes, or things like that that start with letter M. I can't think of any. A mochila. And the translation is not with M. <laughs> things you store items in and that start with letter M. So, so you guys, you're you're not doing anything. Okay, time's up. You are the winner, boys. Congratulations. No, because it's time to do something else. So finish. Let's try to finish with those. Learn to walk before you run. After a storm comes, we come, live and let live. Uh, who pays the pipe or calls the tune? So, you guys at home, uh, try to finish those and you too. Keep on working. Keep on working. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. But you have your brains. <laughs>